that. And then do it this. And then it's restricted here and here. And then you have to put a little string around here. It would be better if I had more space for it. At the next boat, it's going to have the moss here. So this moss is not going to be here. And then I have better access to the horse pipe, rogue chain, and hats can go forward like this. So this is a bit about the hats. And, um, it's not the best, but it works. It works. You have to remember it for the next boat. Thank you. Hello, friends. As you know, now these are here, and this is the ventilation, and this was the air comes in, goes in here, drops down, and then it can go up here. And I'm gonna drill a hole here, or make a hole. So this is for the back, and it's gonna very good and strong to hold on. And here is the front one. It's coming down somewhere here. And what's the air coming in here? Go down here. So a surge tank, overflow tank. And there's much more to do. But this is just the beginning. And Peter is in a real hurry because he has to work at this job too. Thank you. Hello friends, <coughs> this is Irwin. Things interfere. Now we just have to make sure that this ventilation pipe doesn't interfere with the centerboard. So here we got the 20 centimeter clearance up here. And here is the ventilation pipe. And here is 20 centimeter. And it's plenty of space, as you can see, no problem, and it's a good thing to find out this before building it into it, so even if these are not connected, centerboard and ventilation pipe, if you put them in the wrong place, so it's very easy to design a centerboard, ventilation pipe, but once you do them together, it's much more complicated. Hello friends, now I have drilled a hole here, a little round one here, indicating where the ventilation pipes come bending up over here. And now, I'm gonna go up here. Yeah. I'm gonna go over to the other side. Here's the ventilation pipe, it's gonna come here. And here. Where the hole from the inside it comes just out here, and this is the tool I used. I used a long drill, and I put a little spacer here and a spacer here, and then I could just put it against the wall, and if it come out nice, and like I said, here comes this over here, and doesn't interfere with the center board, and here it's like 20 centimeter up. It's very good. So, well, we must thank very much Peter for helping me because soon the weekend starts and Peter is eager to leave the building. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. So this is about the height of the vent pipe and the cool well, there it comes in. So, and also today, I've been doing the last one for the hatches. Like this, two ones on the side are done. Top one is here, done. So, 